What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, yes, we are covering a little bit of EA FC 24. Um, I've never done a video on FIFA before, so this is just going to be basically just my initial thoughts on it, right? It's easy to kind of drag it, completely drag it through the ditch and say that it's absolutely terrible looking. But I do, I am going to give it a fair crack. I've watched the trailer once or twice, so I'll give you my thoughts on that. Uh, obviously, there's a full reveal coming, I think, on the 13th of July, which is tomorrow. And we'll have a look at this in a second because you can see the players a little bit more uh, better in this one. But we're going to have a look quickly at the trailer. A couple of things to point out here. As I said, I mostly do eFootball uh, content and Pez content before that. And Pez and eFootball have always scratched that itch for me gameplay wise um, with the time I have to play games. I like doing content on eFootball and on Pez. So it might be a bit fresh to have somebody that isn't used to FIFA. Like I haven't played FIFA properly since FIFA 14, 16 and a little bit of 19. Um, so, you know, I'm open to giving it a fair go. But it's, yeah, it's all about gameplay for me. And unfortunately, as you see here, straight off with the teaser that loses me is that this is an actual gameplay. The full gameplay reveal is coming tomorrow. So I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and basically just not talk about anything that's not here and go on about the issues that I used to have with the skating in FIFA and the dribble centric stuff and um, with all the skills and the tricks. This is basically footage rendered completely in the Frostbite engine, theatrical or cinematic, whatever way you want to look at it. My first impressions of it, right, are this trailer is extremely hit and miss, in my opinion. Uh, the teaser for the actual graphics fidelity. Now, obviously, we don't know certain things um, as to what, like, filters they're using, what lighting they're using. Some players look better in certain angles. But, I mean, look at Goetze, Goetze there, Goetze, Mario Goetze. I mean, he looks like someone's, like, son is after a cutting one, um, you know, after a, after a curry or something. And Goetze is after getting the updrift of it. And he looks like he's turning his nose up at it, man. He just can't get out of that dressing room quick enough. Henri looks pretty decent. Um, you've got a couple of the players as you roll on there. Reese James looks pretty decent. Sun looks pretty decent. The female players that you have here look pretty decent as well. But then you've got the likes of Zidane. I mean, this is meant to be Zinedine Zidane. And I don't know why they would highlight Zidane looking like this. Um, I mean, some of the players look really high quality in the face. And some of the players don't look high quality at all. I don't know, as I said, is it a filter? We will go into that in a few minutes and see, because a few people on Twitter have made the comparison between the different images and stuff. Um, but you can see it most noticeably when a player is on a side, the side face of a player. It's kind of like a blur. It's hard to see the actual full graphic fidelity here of the certain players. Now, one thing I do like, I will say, is if you take a look at the player models and the fabric and how loose the clothes fit or the, the jerseys and the kits fit certain players, it is really nice. You know, FIFA have always done a good job of that, I think, from seeing trailers and watching people play it. Um, you've got Grealish there as well with the legs. Uh, you've got generic boots on him as well, but you've got Sterling, you've got Marquinhos, you've got Bellingham. The movement of the players is, is pretty okay when they're walking. We will get into that in a second. Um, and then we have, obviously, a couple of transitions here again, back from, like, little media stuff. Some people have mentioned this to me. Now, these things to me, lads, are such small things, right? These things to me where people are like, first EA mistake, Benteke is 6'3", Insignia is 5'4", and are the same height in this cinematic stuff. I mean, that to me, I'm not going to really complain massively about that. Simply because, I mean, that has been an issue in eFootball for a while as well, with the players look very similar height in replays and stuff. And look, that's not going to be a part of the gameplay. Yes, from an immersive point of view, it's going to probably take you out of it, where you have, like, you sign a 6'4 center forward, and he's talking to, you know, your 5'5 or 5'4 um, partner, and you're like, oh, they're the same height. Um, it obviously will take it out of you from an immersion point of view. Um, but in terms of gameplay, like that's really a non-point for me. Any of this teaser trailer here is more just about the graphics, the look, the feel, the movement of the players and stuff like that. Um, and to give your thoughts on that. Again, you can see the kind of the movement here with Vinicius. Nice, typical skill, typical finesse shot into the top corner. You've got Hallen moving here like the Terminator. He looks like an absolute beast in the game in terms of how big he is. Um... Let me know your thoughts on how he looks in the game as well, whether you think he looks like Haaland or not. As I said, like, McAllister looks really good there, and the fabric and the movement of the jerseys and all that looks really, really nice. But then you've got, on the flip side of it, you've got some of the players that move very robotic uh, and stuff like that, especially when they're in, you know, walking here. You can see Haaland is a bit stiff up there. You've got all different player models. I like that, the different heights, the different builds and all that. They've done a fairly good job of that. Um, and then we get to the infamous, or the, yeah, the infamous picture that released, right? So we're going to get a closer look at this in a second. I mean, look at Saka 
Look at Ronaldinho there, lads. It's, I don't know what's going on with these faces. As I said, it looks like there's some sort of, like, filter on it, right? So we're going to go actually go back here and talk about this. So the first one is that people are complaining about certain faces and certain um, different faces that the players have, right? But this is actually a really good image here where you can see the graphic difference and the fidelity of it where you see some players seem to have a really extremely detailed face and the other players don't, right? So when we actually go back out here to the main picture and we go into this one here, you've got a lot of people ripping the design of some of the players, right? You can't really see it here, but when you do actually zone in on it, if I'm able to do that, uh, let me just see and get this up here. If you zone it, zoom in on it here, right? You can see, even though the quality isn't the best, you can see some of the different... Um, high quality images that are on the faces. It's like some certain faces are superimposed and are really high graphically, uh, have a really high standard. But then you've got the likes of Saka. I mean, if you look at Saka here, like look at this face here. Zidane looks way better than he does in the trailer. But then you've also got the likes of Pirlo, who looks genuinely doesn't know like where he is. He looks absolutely completely lost, doesn't know what's going on. Ronaldinho, I mean, I don't know what's going on there with Ronaldinho either. But then you've got Vinicius, who looks really decent. You've got Haaland, who looks really good, even better than in the trailer, the teaser trailer that they showed. Um, Bellingham looks good from that side angle. But if you look here, I think this is the most noticeable one, right? Look at Kiese here, right? Compared to the likes of an Enzo, right? These two guys. They look like they've got a high, like kind of a more plasticky, high res, it, like face on the image of the players. So it's a very un unusual one. Isaac looks good as well, but then you have the likes of this face back here. That face looks really different compared to the rest of them. You know what I mean? And this face, it looks like different quality of faces. Uh, Voller there as well is the same. Saka is probably the most noticeable one. Like, I mean, that does not look like Saka whatsoever. Drogba looks fairly kind of in between. So I would say that the faces here, if they were going for a big wow moment on this, um, it's not really a, a, a wow moment for me. Like, that wouldn't really, you know, be something that I'd be like, wow, they look incredible. Um, they do look a bit cartoony. But then, of course, you know, you have the comparison, as I've always said, when we are talking about different things, and because I do a lot of eFootball content, obviously we are going to compare different player faces and different player uh, player faces that have, uh, you know, been in eFootball or whatever, right? You've got Adiemi there who plays for the Germany national team. You've got, you know, different players like Davids, who's a legend. Now, bear in mind, these aren't even 4K res images. These are literally from a screen grab on my OBS, which is like not even full HD. But you can just see the difference in the quality of the faces, especially at different angles and at different, uh, you know, resolutions and stuff. You've got Davids there. You've also got the Lick there. You've got Roberto Carlos, which is a high res. And then you've got, obviously, uh, Concello. You've got a lot of different player faces that are kind of hit and miss. Like there's Haaland in eFootball. Um, and it depends what angle you look at the certain players. So I would never really be like, you know, oh, these, this, this game is dead on arrival because of the players' faces. I think it's probably just fair to say that I'm going to judge this game on gameplay. But there are just some of the different faces that you have here in Akunko. Um, there are, they range from really, really good... Um, to kind of hit and miss, you know, these are different variations and different um, faces from eFootball 2023 with different filters, different saturations and stuff like that in terms of the lighting that I might have fixed for a thumbnail or whatever. Um, but you get the drift of what I'm trying to say here. You know, there's some various players there, such as Van Dijk. Obviously, that's a bit low res. Vieira. You've also got Vinicius Jr. Um, you've got Tommy Asu. So that's just to give you a, a kind of a brief uh, rundown of some of the players. You can see there with the lighting, it's kind of going to be completely different lighting in that picture, um, say to something like, like Ramos, where the lighting is really bright with the sun compared to Busquets at this angle compared to that angle. So there's a lot of different things that I would focus on there, but I'm not going to fully focus on um, with other things. People have picked up on that, obviously, with the likes of Pirlo and stuff, right? Now, if we actually go over here to the real uh, website here that they have, right? You can actually scroll down here. And once you get through all this fancy stuff and you keep scrolling, you can actually zoom into the players and it gives a little player bio and you can kind of scroll through the players, right? So you just click on it and it'll scroll through the players. You've got Vinicius, you've got Haaland, uh, you've got Alex Pop. Um, and some of the players you can see here are extremely hit and miss. I don't know why they would have focused so much on these players um, if they weren't going to be like 100% detailed, like the likes of Andrea Pirlo there. You've got, obviously, you've got Saka as well. This is a really high res of Saka that they've kind of focused on. You can't zoom in. Um, 
like, you know, you, you can obviously zoom in on Saka if you want to, like, go through the motions here with the flicking through. But some of the players, as I said, look very, very, very different than, um, than, the, than they should be. Um, so, yeah, it depends on what ki kind of evidence you want, whether this game will look absolutely incredible um, or whether you think that this game is going to be a little bit hit and miss. But this is the highest res images that they have of the players here. And you can see what I'm talking about with the likes of Kisa there. They do look to have kind of some sort of filter on it or some sort of like... I don't know. It's kind of like some of the players' faces look really good and some of the players' faces don't look that natural. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know why they would have went to that, you know, degree of doing it. Like Ronaldinho there. I mean, like, it's just because of the resolution of it. Alex Scott, of course. You've got Johan Cruyff. Um, some of the faces look really good. Mia Hamm, look at the face here of Marta. Look, like, it's just, it's an unusual one, man. And, and that's all that the details are there at the moment. Obviously, you've got Rudy Voller and you've got Pele, um, who look very different. And then you've got Zinedine Zidane, who looks quite decent there in the close-up. That's more like Zidane than the Zidane you probably would have seen from the trailer here, um, which is, where is he? Is he back here? Or is he back here? Yeah, like, that Zidane there is going to be a completely different look compared to that one there. You know, you're talking very, very different looking players. So I don't know what's going on with the faces there, but yeah, you can check out that. But for me at the moment, I'm obviously going to wait for gameplay. Gameplay is king for me. It hasn't done it over the last few years with FIFA. Um, so obviously we're going to have to see what FC24 does. Um, but let's see what happens, man. I mean, let me know your thoughts on it. I mean, for me, I still think gameplay-wise, eFootball has a lot of prog progress to make, but it still is very fun when it clicks. And obviously, it changes, different th things can happen. But, I mean, is that something, is it going to be something that you give a game, a give a good go-to? Or are you going to kind of just be already made up your mind that this is going to be more of the same? Now, obviously, the gameplay reveal will be there. Let me know if you enjoy this content and you would like to see more of this and my thoughts on it. Um, because at the end of the day, man, look, as of right now, I'm really looking forward to what's going to be coming in the next 6 to 12 months with eFootball. But, you know, you still have to keep an eye on what else is there if, if, you're, if you're looking at a gameplay perspective that could be enjoyable, you know? Um, I mean, you can play Battlefield and COD. You can play Red Dead Redemption and Last of Us. And, you know, I mean, it's just kind of so time-consuming to play a football game that it's very hard to just play two. So let me know your thoughts on it. I will be back quite soon with some more videos. And of course, you can always check out my other content on YouTube if you are new here and you've stumbled onto this video. We do a lot of eFootball. We stream Monday, Thursdays and Fridays. And yeah, let me know your thoughts on it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.